Breaking news, you will be shocked as Professor Yemi Osibanjo speaks about quitting politics. The vice president who was announced as defeated by APC uh, on the presidential primaries uh, by the you know, the, the party leader talking about Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu, who scored 1,271 votes to beat the closest contender, the former Minister of Transportation, Ruti Miyamichi. Uh, there are talks around him leaving um, politics as it were. If you recall, the vice president has never really contested for an election no he hasn't he hasn't really contested for an election he was appointed by shiwa jamed bola Tinubu to be his um running to be uh, his uh, commissioner for justice an attorney general in Lagos state and um, after that when there was time for presidency it was also ashiwaju who also nominated him to be the vice presidential candidate and today like they will say the rest is history the first contest he will really participate in actively in politics is the um, APC primaries that, you know, uh, results says he came third. Well, uh, probably it's about time for him to say thanks, but no thanks. It has become really uh, important that I, you know, I draw the curtain and he has said, you know what, maybe it's time to leave. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe let's get all the details vice president yomi osibanjo speaks on quitting politics after losing apc presidential primaries to ashiwaju ahmed bola tinubu the vice president professor yomi osibanjo has said he will not quit active politics despite losing his bid to emerge as the all progressive congress APC presidential candidate. Yemi Osibanjo explained that he will continue to contribute his quarter to active politics that will bring about real change. Speaking with representative of the diaspora professionals for PYO during a virtual meeting, Yemi Osibanjo said he will continue to push for a better Nigeria as he knows he has what it takes to bring Nigeria to a desired position and change the course of the nation in the right light. Yemi Osibanjo has said, Nigeria deserves to be better and for things to be working. He says we've got all it takes as a nation, as a people, for things to work. Sadly, things are not the way they should be. I may not have won the primaries as stipulated by my party, but that is not a yastic to quit active politics. I will continue to give my quota and support actively to ensure Nigeria gets to that desired position that we all dream of. And what I have in mind is that Nigeria gets the desired push for things to change. Nigerians deserve that. Education needs to be built up. Insecurity needs to become a thing of the past with everyone bringing in their quota and right leadership, bringing about correct perspective to drive the force of the nation heading towards the correct, the, heading towards the best destination to change the course of the country today. I may not have won the APC primaries, but I've got what it takes, I believe, to push Nigeria into the right direction. And so I will continue to contribute my quota. And that's why I will not quit active politics so that I can efficiently contribute and help to make Nigeria a better place for the less privileged and for the children yet unborn to bring Nigeria out of her present predicament. It's a fantastic, lovely thing that even leaders who are there now knows that things are not working. They know. They know it's not um, it's not someone trying to push. We all know that this is what it is. You know, I know, we know. And so the, the, the big part is, what are you doing? What am I doing? You know, the talk has come that probably Professor Yemi Sibanjo wants to quit politics 
and um, you know he wants to quit and ensure that you know um, he face some other um, interest that could potentially you know uh, be driving him since he did not win the APC primaries but he said no that, that's not my intention I really want to contribute my quota I really want to you know ensure that I bring about perspective that could you know bring bring Nigeria out of the current cruelty that she's experiencing now in the hands of bad leadership. Take for instance, if there is no security, how do you actively convince internationals to come into your country and invest their money? Is that no money down the drain? Because if any of those expatriates are held up by those who carry out kidnapping activities, guess what? They are in trouble and they will have to spend money they've not even made. So when you look at it, does it make sense to really ask them to come into the country, the answer is no. Does it make sense for you to tell them that, oh, uh, this is what you should do. Please come here, invest. Nigeria is a good place. Uh, the soil is fertile. Come and, come and, uh, come and you know, uh, invest, invest. Yet we need this investment because this investment will drive a lot of things. This investment will ensure and will, you know, will, will ensure that, you know, there is job creation. Government alone, I will repeat, government alone cannot, okay, government alone cannot uh, uh, actively make a difference in terms of uh, job creation for all of Nigerians. Government alone cannot do it. No, the government alone cannot do it. Nigerians have to actively support and ensure that this, you know, come to an end. Nigerians have to actively do it actively do it nigerians all together every one of us so we're trying to say that oh the government will do this and that it will not happen it will it's not just going to happen it's not it's not just going to happen unless every one of us begin to look at things quite critically and see what we can bring to the table the government alone will not do that no it won't happen it won't happen Private investors will also have to come on board, will also have to come on ground to bring about this difference. That's the only way. Sincerely speaking, that's the only way. So this is why every one of us have got a meaningful contribution. We must all you know, begin to contribute to bring about a difference to our nation today. Every one of us, with the exception of none, must bring that you know, to the table. You see, so this is what is happening right now. God bless you. Bye for now.